And it's not just the voters who are upset with Kratz's actions. Some state legislators and a group of his peers are calling for something to be done. And while Kratz says he will stay on the job, there are still ways to remove an elected official from office. Cameron Clark has that part of the story. Friday's editorial in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reads, Crossing the Line and says Calumet County District Attorney Ken Kratz, quote, should resign or be shown the door. A letter to Kratz from his colleagues at the Wisconsin District Attorneys Association calls his behavior repugnant, neither unintentional nor innocent, inconsistent with the standards of the profession, and says, quote, any prosecutor in our own offices would be discharged for this type of behavior. The group also says it will ask Governor Doyle to review the matter for Kratz's removal from office. Democratic State Representative and former Judge Fred Kessler is doing the same. I was frankly outraged. Uh, I think that uh, in Wisconsin we expect public servants to have a higher moral standard. Other than resignation or death, there are two ways to remove a constitutional officer like a district attorney. The first is a recall by the voters, which requires signatures in the amount of 25% of the number of ballots cast in the last governor's election. In Calumet County, that would require just less than 5,000 signatures. There would then be another election with the current officer automatically on the ballot. The second is removal by the governor. A statement from Governor Doyle's office says, as a former district attorney and attorney general who has worked with many victims of crime, the governor is very surprised and shocked by these deeply troubling accounts. The shocking and troubling accounts are very serious, and the governor will be in contact with the attorney general to discuss all options. In order for a recall process to begin and eventually go to the voters, someone would have to get and circulate recall petitions from the Government Accountability Board in Madison. And so far, that has not happened. Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. So today's developments in the texting scandal include Ken Kratz saying he will not resign as Calumet County District Attorney. In a statement he read to reporters, he apologized to the 26-year-old woman to whom he sent offensive text messages. He repeatedly refused to answer any questions. In his statement, Kratz said he is considering some time off for therapy. An attorney for the woman says a lawsuit is possible. And a group of Kratz's peers, the Wisconsin District Attorneys Association, is asking the governor to review the matter. A spokesman says the governor is surprised and shocked and will, along with the attorney general, consider all options.